Yo, what's going on guys? It is JT Judgment here and welcome back to the channel today for another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player Review or should I say Legend Review. We have the 87 rated German striker Oliver Bierhoff. But before I get into it guys and let you guys know my thoughts on the player, if any of you are looking to pick up some Xbox codes, some PSN codes or some cheap PC games, definitely check out cdkeys.com. I highly recommend them. I will leave a link to those guys in the description down below. So when it comes to stats with the Legend Bierhoff guys, he's probably one of the worst looking legends in the game let's be honest guys right i mean you look at his card face stats 76 on the pace 73 dribbling 74 shooting uh, 74 physical sorry 83 shooting 32 defending and 62 on the physical looks like a very very average uh player if there were legends in the game available lower than 86 rated then these are the sort of stats that i would honestly expect from them you know now when it comes to chemistry styles guys i decided to use uh Bierhoff in the uh marksman chemistry style just to change things up a bit from the usual sniper uh, and and hunter obviously so i use marksman boosting dribbling shooting and physical so that boosted him up from 73 dribbling to 78 dribbling 83 shooting to 91 shooting and 74 physical to 78 physical not much of a you know difference in stats there i mean they still don't look like the greatest uh, but they did boost the stats that i did feel like i personally needed a boost in you know when it comes to his in-game stats guys 88 attack positioning 87 reactions 85 on the jump in 84 strength 89 finishing 93 on the head and accuracy 83 shot power 84 on the volleys so stats wise other than those they really don't look the greatest you know there's many stats in the orange um, and red areas so i just gotta say guys stats wise in general other than maybe one or two Really not the greatest with this card, you know, even though he is a legend. So my thoughts on Bierhoff this year, guys, I mean, i got to go back through the years of FIFA Ultimate Team. He was a, he's a legend that I have used every single FIFA Ultimate Team so far, dating back to obviously FIFA 14 when they were first uh, introduced in the game. Uh, legends, that is. And i got to say, Bierhoff has always been consistently bad for me. You know, the, he may have scored me one or two decent goals, which he did actually do this, uh, this time round as well. You know, he really wasn't the greatest of players but he still managed uh, to score me a couple of decent goals you will obviously see them uh, in this video but yeah Bierhoff has never really been one of those standout players for me and you'd expect exactly that from a player with stats like Bierhoff has you know he doesn't exactly catch your eye and make you think wow this guy actually looks like a decent player and I want to use him looking at a player like Bierhoff doesn't make you think that you know if you want to buy him you're probably just making maybe a German team maybe he's a legend you know you, you just want to use a legend he, he's one of the only ones you can afford something like that you know he's just a player that you would most likely just settle with for the time being until you can afford someone better i don't think there's any reason why you would actually want to go out and buy be a half there's very little reason to do something like that you know in my personal opinion so yeah when it comes down to it be a half for me i've never really liked him and it's the exact same thing this year guys be a half in fifa 17 ultimate team is easily one of the worst legends and players that i have used so far he was embarrassingly bad that's exactly how i would describe him em embarrassingly bad pretty much everything to do with this player other than his shooting with his right foot was terrible for me you know the, some of the goals you will see in this video are pretty decent you know that's one thing about this card that i'm actually really glad that i can say that i liked you know his shooting from outside the box was pretty sick he did challenge goalkeepers very consistently for me and his finishing inside the box was half decent as well but other than that guys his pace was bad you know he getting off the mark he was so slow and even if he hit his top sprint speed he really 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 wasn't the fastest of players guys it was horrible Drip with this card oh my days guys just 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 so bad you know his first touch is terrible trying to move on the ball takes forever he turns so slowly it's just it's just horrible you know easily one of the worst dribblers i have used so far in this game and again it's something you should expect from just looking at his card face stats you know physical should be decent i mean if you look at his strength stat in game i think it's 84 which is a decent stat to have and he should be pretty strong in game but when i used him in game he was getting muscled off the ball so easily by defenders that you could see were like two foot shorter than him you know it was it was 
really, really weird how he was getting easily bullied off the ball. You know, it's something that surprised me to the point that made me just hate using him. You know, something else about this card that I didn't like and it just made me hate using him that much more, you know? His passing was dreadful for me, guys. Just constantly gave the ball away. Positioning is something that made me dislike using this card even more as well, guys. He is a player with medium, medium work rates and he's got 88 attack positioning. Now, I was thinking to myself when using him, right... He's got a decent attack position in stat. I'm not going to take any notice of his work rates because I've used players with several different work rates in game and they've all performed pretty well for me. So I'll judge that after I've used him. I used him, guys. He was terrible. You know, I was running down the wing with my wingers ready to cross the ball into the box. He was still by the halfway line by the time I was ready to actually whip in the cross, you know? So guys, if you've got anything to take from this review, I just just stay away from Bierhoff 100% if you need a cheap legend in this game get somebody like Teddy Sheringham he is so much better than this card like so much better Bierhoff is very slow so bottom line when it comes down to it guys I gotta give him a final score of 3 out of 10 the only reason I'm giving him a 3 is because his shooting was decent for me that's pretty much it guys so that's gonna wrap up this review if you did enjoy this video and this did help you decide whether or not to go out and buy the player for yourself then don't forget to smash the like button down below so that's gonna wrap it up guys subscribe today for more content to come soon and more legend reviews that's for damn sure and most importantly please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys